Welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics. In this module 4, we were discussing on development of lateral surfaces of solids. So far we have solved 6 problems. In our previous lecture, we have began discussion on radial line method of development. Moving ahead, the problem number 7 states that a square pyramid of base 40 mm side and axis 65 mm long has its base on HP and all the edges of the base are equally inclined to VP. It is cut by an inclined section plane so as the truncated surface at 45 degree to its axis bisecting it. Draw the development of the truncated pyramid. We have a square pyramid of base side 40 mm and axis length 65 mm resting on HP with all the base edges equally inclined to VP. This I already explained in our previous lecture also. If you draw a square like this then two sides will be parallel and two sides will be perpendicular to VP. If I draw in the shape of rhombus, I will get all the sides equally inclined to VP. So he is asking us to draw such that the bases are equally inclined to VP. So therefore I should go for this one. First let me draw the front and top of the given problem for which let us lay down XY line and draw front and top of the given question that is let me draw xy line for reference. So above xy line we have vertical plane, below xy line we have horizontal plane. Here also we extend it and now this is a xy reference. Always for solids resting on HP, I should always draw the front top view first. Draw the top view first. So if I draw the top view for a solid resting on HP, drawing the top view first. So let me fix a horizontal line for measurement that is for reference. I want a horizontal line because I want to draw this square such a way that all the sides are equally inclined to VP that is what he says. So let me draw a reference. Let me measure 45 degrees. measured 45 degree dimension is known that is 40 mm side so draw a line for 40 mm drawn 40 mm now take the diagonal reference now just using compass I can finish this that is measuring 40 mm side. I'll cut this diagonal from that point. I'll again, cut this reference line. Now, connecting this completes the square of side 40 mm with all the sides equally inclined to VP. Let me call this as A, B, C and D. We have center O, O1 and each of this side is measuring 40 mm. So this is a square of 40 mm side. Now take the projection. Take the projection and lay down the axis first lay down the axis first axis side is 65 given in front of the axis we are getting one of the slant edge B to O so therefore axis cannot be shown give preference to slant edge so this will become O dash and this will become B dash D dash and O1 dash which is invisible now connect all the slant edges that is A dash to O dash, C dash to O dash, connect it. So this will be A dash to O dash and this will be C dash to O dash and this is the base what we have and we have the axis length 
specified as 65 millimeters mark the axis height which is given as 65 mm which is specified as 65 millimeters so this length is given as 65 mm and this is bisected by the cutting plane so therefore mark the center of this mark the center of this as a reference as a reference this length is known since it since the cutting plane is bisecting this will be 65 by 2 65 by 2 is 32.5 done so this is about the front and top of the given problem now insert the cutting plane cutting plane is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to axis and bisecting it if you incline 45 degree to axis then it will incline 45 degree to hp or base no need to worry so whether you incline it to axis or incline it to base it is 45 degrees only so lay down the cutting plane at an angle of 45 degree which is bisecting the axis so mark 45 degrees to the base obviously this will be at an angle of 45 degrees to axis so draw the cutting plane drawn so this is the cutting plane we have which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees here we have points also because coming for if you carefully observe this cutting plane is not intervening the base edge a to b b to c c to d or d to o it is cutting only slant edges so therefore all the measurements will be taken from the front view only coming for first slant edge a to o this will be 1 dash next b to o this will be 2 dash next c to o this will be 3 dash and then again d to o this will be 4 dash done now whereas in the previous problem none of these slant edges are parallel to vertical plane but if you observe how many slant edges we have we have four slant edges namely a to o b to o c to o and d to o that is a dash o dash b dash o dash c dash o dash and d dash o dash among these four slant edges we have two of the slant edges parallel to vp which means that a to o and c to o that is c dash o dash and a dash o dash are true length slant edges so therefore i can i can make use of this slant edges itself directly because if you compare problem number 6 we didn't had none of the slant edges parallel to vp so therefore we have rotated one of the slant edges and made it parallel and then we found out how much is the true length of the slant edge and made use of that as a reference to develop the pyramid but here i can make use of either a dash o dash or c dash o dash because these two are parallel to vp hence they are giving us the true length of the slant edge so let me make use of o dash c dash directly so this is parallel so no need to worry now measure this length and transfer all the points to o dash c dash we have 3 dash here so i'll get 2 dash bar 4 dash here and i'll transfer 1 dash directly to here so that you people won't get confused if i measure each point from different lines you might get confused always make use of reference slant edge only for all the problems make use of one slant edge and solve so that you will you can avoid confusion in our previous problem also we have used only one slant edge for the complete development here also you make use of one slant edge for the complete development we have all the points on this 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash now you measure the true length of the slant edge 
if i measure the true length of the slant edge i am getting the dimension as 70 mm 70 mm so this length is measuring as 70 mm for me this length is measuring 70 mm mark it and make use of this 70 mm for the complete development of the given problem now the top you also i should show that is i'll cut and remove this top portion i'll retain only bottom portion that is only this portion correct only this portion will be re retained and the top portion will be removed this you people know so show that in the top you also because this is pyramid for pyramid in the top you we can see the slant edges so transfer these points for a to o we have 1 dash a to o we have 1 now to transfer 2 and 4 it is coming on the straight line but we have projected it to true slant edge so make use of that take the projection from here and transfer so take on the projection from here so this will be 2 and 4 2 is for b 4 is for d that is measure this and transfer we have 2 and 4 here so 2 is for b and 4 is for d so this will be 2 and this will be 4 3 can be directly transferred you mark 3 so this will be 3 now connect 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 and connect d to 4 a to 1 2 to b and 3 to c so this is what the retained portion look like whereas the inner portion will be invisible for us let us mark it with a thin line now let me go for the development for which i should make use of this true slant edge which is measuring 70 mm that is first let me draw this 70 mm true slant edge taken dry curve for arbitrary dimension that is from center o you draw a curve for arbitrary angle you don't know how much is the angle but you draw a curve for arbitrary angle like this you draw a curve drawn now if i cut from one of this slant edge and unfold this pyramid i'll get four rectangle four triangles correct because we have four base edges this is a square pyramid so therefore if i cut from one of the slant edge and unfold the faces I will get four triangles of side length 40 mm, right? So measure 40 mm. Now cut four equal arcs of 40 mm. One, then two, then we have three, and finally we have four. So this extension is not required. Done. Now connect these things. that is this is a b c d and a let us take this as o connect a to o b to o then c to o then d to o and finally a to o closing side 
Now transfer these points that is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash directly from measurement from O we have 1 dash here so directly you transfer 1 dash from here 1 will be here as well as at last 1 done always make use of only slant edge next from O measure 2 and 4 that is from O you transfer 2 and 4 then you measure 3 and transfer this is 3 from O you transfer 3 done now you connect these things this is 2 3 and 4 1 is for OA 2 is for OB 3 is for OC 4 is for OD then closing side is OA now this is a square pyramid we have sharp slant edges and base edges we don't have surface surface will come only for cone and cylinder since we have sharp edges connect these base bases also that is A to B B to C C to D D to A here we have 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and again 4 to 1 and connect 1 to A 4 to D 3 to C 2 to B and 1 to A so this is our development that is 1 A B C D A 1 4 3 2 1 is the development we will remove the top portion we will remove this also so finally mark the dimension so this dimension is known this slanted dimension is found to be 70 millimeters and side length of this is found to be base that is 40 mm this is how we should solve whenever we have any one of these lanterns parallel to VP so similarly for pentagon one of the sides will become parallel that is one of the slant edge will become parallel use that as the slant edge for complete development if none of the slant edges are parallel then make it rotate it and make it parallel take it as a reference use the true slant edge for the complete development use always one line as a reference and completely use that as a tool for developing the pyramid don't measure one from here 2 and 4 from here and 3 from here you might get confused so transfer all the points to the true slant edge and make use of only true slant edge for the complete development of the pyramid this is how you should solve that is the solution for problem number 7 that's all from this lecture thank you all